Capricorn. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. <laughs> Look, I just picked up your deck and we're seeing your energy, Capricorn, Devil, Energy and Judgment. Interesting. Archangel Gabriel. Somebody waking up getting some clarity. Let's see. It's pretty early and generally I'm not sure that if those are belonging in your reading yet, but I like that your energy has already come through, even if it is the devil energy, Capricorn and Saturn energy. Capricorn, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, I'm really glad you are here, and I'm really glad to be channeling for you today. Welcome to another Capricorn love reading, love tarot reading, Capricorn tarot reading. And as is pretty much really always the case at the Tarot Closet, Capricorn love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I want to show you what is here. It's the Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Lots of water energy here, Capricorn. Five of Cups, Mars and Scorpio energy. Somebody is regretting how they left things. And look at that. Ace of Cups coming in here as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Getting ready to dive into this cup. It's overflowing. With healing energy, also with love, there's some kind of proposal offer here. Is this marriage? It can be. Doesn't mean that it is. Let's see. We need to get into your reading. But it is this energy here of how they feel and coming back in is clear. They're also there, there's a lot of regret for some things said and not said. The Three of Cups here spilt over. That's Mercury and Cancer energy. So is this a recent or is this just showing us the hurt? I think it's showing us the hurt as well. The emotions still flowing. You know, perhaps something that was said, things that were not said. You're still in each other's energy. You still love each other. Look at those Two of Cups here. Venus and Cancer energy, lots of water energy coming through here. Yeah, and they're regretting how they left things. What they both said and, and didn't say. Capricorn, I'm channeling for you in January 2024. If you're here in real time, Happy New Year. I know not everybody is. Some of you might be here many months, even years later. And that is because, well, I want to show you this. That is because this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. Capricorn, this is a faded connection. It means there are messages here for you. <laughs> Why am I wanting to get them straight? I don't know. But look what is coming in. My gosh. The Ace of Cups is back. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and the Six of Cups as well. Boy, are they thinking a lot about you. And look at that regret. Look what they're looking at here in the Six of Cups. Sun and Scorpio energy. They're looking at these five cups. Look kind of the muted color, which we just saw. So they're missing you and they are sad. They're sad and missing you and they're regretting how things were left. Leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because that is not true. Soul connection, real strong. Soulmate energy. For some of you, this might be your twin flame and your twin flame can be a soulmate. Not everybody's on the twin flame journey or follows it and that's okay of course but I'll always bring the energy through the soul connection is here for some of you you've known each other for many years and it could also just feel that way but they're missing you it's nostalgic and it looks like they're trying to find a way to come here is this just communication is this in person because this is reunion energy and we saw that coming through that they're missing you we can see it all over they're missing you they regret how they left things and I am hearing that they love you. Let's see what your reading is bringing today. Well, it's bringing the Five of Cups back and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah. So this is clear, pun intended, <laughs> made of swords. It's where they put themselves. It's Jupiter and Gemini energy. So it's both things not moving. It was lack of communication. It's like the separation here. It's in reverse. This is a freeing energy. It's a release. It's, well, yeah, it's communicating again and things moving again here. Look, the Five of Cups is strong validation of how they were feeling here in the Mars and Scorpio energy. There's something going down here, Capricorn. These two cups, again, appearing Venus and Cancer energy. They love you. 
That's the thing. They love you. You love them too. You're still very much in each other's energy and they really are regretting. Gosh, it's feeling emotional. Look at all the emotions around. They're really regretting how they left things. A conversation, both things that are unsaid and things that they said. Look at their head hanging low here. And of course, it's connected to the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. Conflicting energy. But this eight, that's an action number. You know, that's also around some karma. So yeah, they've, they've, what's been going on? What have, what karma have they had to pay or what are they still paying? Because they're feeling guilty, I'll tell you that. And that's also around infinity. So for some of you, that's my twin flame, of course, but not for everybody, of course. That's also a particular kind of love. That's soul connection, love, infinity. I love you to infinity. That James Young song coming in. That's a forever kind of love. It's also balance. You know, and yeah, you got a peek of what's here. <laughs> That's balancing the divine feminine and divine masculine energies so they can be clear with themselves and honest and bring that to you. And that's also, of course, just balancing things out. So for, for some of you, it could be that there were other things chosen, work over the connection, money, other contracts, I feel. So what are they? Is it another partnership? Is it Cultural, religious differences, is distance, is it money, is it work? Some balancing energy, and they, they're working that out. They've been working it out, and I feel like they worked it out, but where? let's see where things are going. And that infinity is also connected to Libra, and that's the balance. It's also the truth, and that's the renewal here. Lots of Gaia energy around that eight as well. And, of course, these are swords. It's clarity in relationships. It's transactional energy, it's information, it's communication. Yeah, they've been keeping, I don't know, a page of swords energy is coming through strong. I think they've been kind of watching and keeping you close in many ways, talking about you. And if they're able to talk about you to someone who knows you, that's also going on. They're sad about this. Look what else is coming in here. That's working out the karma here for the renewal. And this is also working up to talk to you, working up the courage Quite literally, this lion draped in a floral laurel wreath, reunion energy, the strength energy. There's a strong, there's a strong connection between you. The emotional connection is really strong. The spiritual connection is really strong. The physical connection, the chemistry between you is really strong. They're working this out. That's their renewal. That's the karma. That's the action that they're trying to take. Leo energy, also the source. Yeah, this is incredibly clear. And of course, it's that eight. You know, it's the eighth card. And that's also an eight taking this action. And it's around working it out, the karma. The infinity there, the balance, balancing things out. Divine feminine, divine masculine energies also within themselves here. Led by spirit. Look at that. And that is the energy here, that source. And what are they working toward? Wish fulfillment. So you are their biggest wish. That's one thing that's incredibly clear. But also wish fulfillment for everybody. In fact, look, <laughs> the crow is looking over here saying, hurry up. I'm on top of all these cups here waiting because this is things coming to fruition, attainment and fulfillment. And on all the cups, look, there are the two of cups again. One of them has grapes in it, developing things. The second one has three... It looks like cherries, which are on the Three of Pentacles here in this deck. And that's coming together and everybody coming together and wanting to wanting this to work. Reciprocal. The Two of Cups, the offer. Here's Four of Cups. Look, there are keys here, of course, that's revealing. It's bringing in some contractual energy around the Hierophant, this connection. Also, possibly, again, something else. High Priestess energy, Cancer, revealing divine feminine energy. There's more grapes. This fish is connected to quite a few energies here. The Page of Cups, it's also connected to the King of Pentacles, who's kind of coming in here with that offer. So that's interesting. Then we have the Three of Cups in the front. Look at that. More cherries and apple abundance. There's a lotus flower healing in these three cups here. Again, it's more energy of the three of cups, communication. So for some of you, it could be that there's a way for that. There's a coming together in person energy, you know? It won't be for everybody, but it is here. But communication is really, really strong. 
how they're feeling, what they're planning. That's too many. Okay. I want to get one more, but <laughs> look. So here's the Four of Cups, and here are, here's that other contract. My gosh, Capricorn, real clear. This is your energy, Capricorn and Saturn energy. Look at that. Eight, look at the lack of balance. Look at them trying to figure it out. Were they giving more time to work, money? So there are some differences here. What is that other contract? You know, what is that other contract? Is it money, work? Is it another connection? Family of origin, cultural, religious differences, distance, simply just having trouble with commitment. You know, it is the two of pentacles and that that's balancing. It's also weighing something out and making a decision. And it's that eight again, the action. It's also infinity again, and it's the renewal and karma. It's all here. Look. They're really wanting to come here. So it could be that they are coming out of the blue or you see them out of the blue. For those of you that are in that type of connection where you can see, see each other, I want to say. Because we're seeing the Three of Cups here again within the Four of Cups. This is Moon and Cancer energy. So that is opening up and communicating a lot of how they feel coming out of nowhere. You're looking right at it like it's about time. On the Three of Cups here, which is the Mercury energy, of course, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, oftentimes around reading and writing. Get in here then. A little apathetic, though. How long have you been waiting? You miss each other. You love each other. It's really clear. Your cards are going wild. <laughs> and we have one left behind. Okay. So that is a clear energy that wanted to be in here and look at this and the decision also here with the two of wands this is where their energy is the strongest capricorn through everywhere here your specific person the person you came here for maybe it's somebody that you were not expecting because it is an unexpected visit like kind of an that four of cups excuse me that like an un, you know you're not expecting it like an unexpected visitor type of energy but i think you're expecting it because here's the thing two of wands energy you know, this is what you've been waiting for. It's Mars and Aries energy. And again, it can be around some travel. It's strong. Look at the emotional connection between you. You're not talking. You're at a crossroads. This is Mars energy, which is completion energy. So waiting for things, for this renewal, for it to come out of no contact, no communication, for something to get worked out. What is that other contract, commitment, relationship, partnership, money, work, people, what? It's a fast energy here, but it's been going slow. We know that. We see the no talking. And look what is right here, which is also completion energy. It's the world. And that's bringing in the world card. And that's completing where, where that's completing the karmic lessons. It's com completing that cycle. It's renewal. And it's completing where you want to be. So together. So whether that's just talking or it's something much bigger. Again, travel energy here. For some of you, actual physical travel, but that's also just coming together. Really strong soulmate energy in here. Obstacles out of the way, karmic debts paid here, divine timing, communication growth. They're asking for forgiveness. They're getting truth and clarity about how they feel, and I do feel that, that they're bringing that in. The Seven of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The communication, look at this. So this is what you've been waiting for. And it's looking like it might just come, which we saw already and felt that energy in the Four of Cups out of the blue. Mercury and Sagittarius energy. It's a really fast energy and they have a lot to say and it's going to change everything. So they're really, this is what you have been waiting for. Literally, it's connected. Look at the timing with the sunflowers divine timing communication for the outcome they connect to sun the source for the outcome for the successful outcome lots of making peace energy eight that's the thing there's a lot of Gaia energy around eight again it's the action look and there's two here if you see this also as an eight which it is it's infinity it's the balance it's also an eight and that's bringing us also to 88 and you know what that is that's butterfly energy that's new stage energy and we, oh, we're seeing it right here. I was going to say that's also bringing in some Queen of Pentacles energy. I'm seeing, 
you know, she's looking right at a wand and there's a butterfly there coming in and making something work that wasn't working. It's like a stand-in for the emperor. So she might come in, she might not, but I've just was shown her. And there's the butterfly here. That's the butterfly energy here. That's a new stage. It's a transformative energy. So this message, this communication you've been waiting for is going to change everything. You've been waiting for it and it could be that it's coming out of nowhere. Just this strong urge, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. Look, leaning here in the wand, looking off, getting ready to fly. Angels nearby. <laughs> I just sounded like Dr. Seuss, but coming off here, look, the feathers. Above the clouds, above the indecision, the bad decisions, there could be other people involved for sure. Look at the city behind. I think that's New York, or is that Seattle? I think that's New York. In any case, hello, if that is. I think it is, isn't it? Is that the Empire State Building? In any case, it's the energy of love. It's the, the speed at which things are coming. It's a really passionate energy. And there's that butterfly energy here. Look. Yeah, so this is love coming in, Capricorn. It's things coming to fruition. And it's the pentacles. It's transformative energy. This is a very instinctive energy here with our wolf. The messenger right on top just kind of almost like temperance energy in some ways, like, hold on, just a minute. It's one pentacle shy of the Ten of Pentacles here. Were you building a connection? Had you built a long-term connection? Was it on the table? They're bringing it back in here. It's really incredibly clear. Where is the other pentacle? It's here. One of those is yours. Again, the other one could be money or work, distance, family of origin, whatever, but it's there. Apologetic energy, yeah. The Ten of Wands also coming here in reverse. The Three of Swords in reverse. That's also here in the Seven of Swords as they return. So this is the thing. Aquarius, Uranus energy, they changed everything here by not being honest about what. For some of you, there is betrayal here. And it could be in the way of infidelity, but it could also be a betrayal around what. They were choosing something over. And it could even have been another partnership. But it, you know, it could be a lot of things. Money, work, again, all of that. But regardless, when it was happening, what happened, this played a really big part. It's the Seven of Swords, you know, not being honest, running away from communication, running away from the connection, carrying the Three of Swords here. Look at that. Breaking heart. Black feathers coming in here are my sign for angels in protective mode. So hurt, hurting here, being happening, breaking hearts, hurt, being left, not talk, being talked to. Two of the swords dropping, not being willing to make some kind of compromise or decision. Leaving two behind just in case. Well, we see that. They're coming back in. There are those three swords now in reverse, apologizing, making peace, coming here with the truth, releasing from the eight of swords. Also validation here in the three of swords in reverse. It's apologetic energy. It's healing. And it's really time here, Capricorn. The ten of wands is coming here in reverse. It's Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So... It's around a lot of the a lot of the burdens. Look at here is the Empire State again. It's the same scene, just about yeah. It's the same scene, different season. Not surprising, is it? This looks a little bit fall like, autumn like, but you know it might be around that for seasons for you. But it's not just about that. But look at that. So carrying all this is the energy of love, matters of the heart. It's been a this separation has been really difficult. I feel for everyone, but also you just really want it. You've been waiting for this information for sure, communication, but I feel like it's a whole lot more. It is a resolution energy. So whether or not it's just talking again or coming back together and building a life or separation for some of you, but I don't think so. I just feel this connection here. But you have free will. Your person has free will. Everybody does. The future is not fixed. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. It's based on your decisions, not mine. This is releasing. It's the end of a cycle. It's from not talking. Completion. It's the renewal. And that's coming here with an apology. So it's sort of like what comes first. You know, the apology and then there's like a big weight lifted off your hearts. Weight lifted off of hearts and then being able to apologize. Kind of symbiotic, aren't they? Coming together. The Wheel of Fortune. The nine 
of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the, whoa, the uh, Knight of Swords, excuse me, the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, there's two here, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Cups, did I, do I feel like we saw that already? Anyway, it's here. And what's going on here at the bottom of the deck? It's the Knight of Pentacles, so also connecting here, look, with the Queen of Swords. So yeah, there has been some dishonesty here. Libra ruled by Venus energy. She's kind of like my, my stand-in for justice. You know, she's like the protege. <laughs> and it's that energy, same energy as well, Libra ruled by Venus energy, and that's the dishonesty here, also coming with the Knight of Pentacles, who was kind of like being stubborn, not really, not coming, not the, around the connection, around everything that, that happened here in the Seven of Swords. So this is a strong past energy coming in, look. Yeah, and it also, and it brought in, okay, I wanna show you all of, what is going on here. So that's all connecting with this Five of Cups who has a lot of regret for all of that, which is connected with the Seven of Swords in reverse, which is all of this, which is an apology, which is making peace, strong energy. The Six of Pentacles also came down in reverse. So it's the lack of reciprocal energy. It's the one-sided energy. It's some selfish energy. Look, it's the lack of balance, of giving. Also, just around some divine feminine, divine masculine energies that they were not, I feel like, balanced because they were making decisions that they're now regretting. And are they too late? I hope not. And the Four of Swords coming down here, connecting to all of it. This is the separation. It's kind of like what it led to. Here, recovering, separated. There's the Three of Swords again. Here's kind of a bottoms up, like you know, just exhausted with the sword here. This is Jupiter and Libra energy waiting for the truth around what's, what happened, what's going on here, what do you want? Waiting for that truth to come in and also an energy of your person there wanting to bring it. Look, wish fulfillment came in here. The King of Pentacles came in. The Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the knight, Nine of Swords in reverse, excuse me, did I, the Knight of Swords, <laughs> the Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, this is a turning point. It's pretty darn strong. This is Jupiter energy. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius are here. It's the end of no contact and no communication. This wheel is turning again. It's the cycles of life. It's always turning, you know? Fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. They have a lot to say to you. I think this is a lot more than just, I'm sorry, there is an apology here, big time. You've been waiting for it. It can be that it's in a message for some of you. It's been validated that it's going to be in person or maybe it already was. It won't be for everybody. But this is the new beginning. It's a lot of the potential here and it's coming via kind of hearing from your person. I want to say some, some news from your person. They're wanting, this is a new start and I feel like that's what they're wanting. A message. A deep soulmate connection. And again, for some of you, there is a, well, six of cups energy, sun and Scorpio. You've known your person for many years or you just feel that way, the soul connection. Things are changing here. It's coming out of that stuck energy. And we're also seeing that here in this minor archon energy of the nine of, nine of swords, Gemini and Mars energy. You know, just not being just anxious, sad, waiting. Here, look in this nest, and the two of you here kind of waiting for this conversation, I feel like, to take place. It's in reverse, also here with the Eight of Swords in reverse. So that strong energy of, yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse, they're returning here, look at that. The unstuck energy, the end of no contact, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Lifting some of that anxiety around not communicating. This is communication for sure. They're working on it. Look. And here I like this because here is the six of pentacles back, but in the upright here in the eight of pentacles. That's the reciprocal energy and that's what they're working on here. You know, that's the moon and Taurus up here. That's communication. Look, it's around timing. There are three 
divine messengers here. What's interesting is they're looking over here at the seventh pentacle, which is you, Capricorn, Venus, and Taurus energy with one foot out the door, sick of waiting. They're looking at it like the Page of Swords energy, like, are you still here? Don't go anywhere. Wait for me. Let me work this out. What are they needing to work out? What is that contractual energy? Because that eight is an action number, but it's also around some karma. You know, and that's, of course, also infinite, infinity, working on the balance in their life. So is it work, money, location, other contracts, people, other contracts around people? But yeah, contractual energy is strong. More than one person, interference, they're working it out. They're, they're literally begging, I hear, for, <laughs> for you to not, not leave, to wait as they work it out, because this is manifesting abundance as well, and there's a lot of healing energy around there. So what do you want to do? And am I imagining that? Didn't we see the judgment coming in as well? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did, and we also saw the Ace of Cups, so an offer there too. Is that just an apology? There is an apology you've been waiting for. It. Look, and it could be in person, it could be written, or social media, that sort of thing, SMS, email. But I feel like it's a lot more once they're kind of completion, completing whatever's going on here. What is that contract again? Connection, partnership, commitment to what? And are you still here? Because they're keeping a close eye. It's Page of Swords energy for me. Look, this Knight of Swords has a lot to say to you. Libra and Mercury energy. We already know that. It's really clear here as things are kind of lifting. They're a little bit afraid. Look, you almost can't even see their eye. It's a very emotional horse, but it's a horse pushing through karma, pushing through obstacles, humility, pushing through their ego to come here and say they're sorry, tell you how they feel. It's going to change everything. That's really clear in the Eight of Swords, or excuse me, the Eight of Wands in the upright and also this Knight of Swords. The Libra energy, having balanced it out, maybe not completely, <laughs> either divine feminine, divine masculine energies. To be clear, judgment did come through, you know, I'm, and if not, I'm seeing it. I keep being shown judgment. I feel like it did, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, and we know the Five of Cups did, and it came back, but this is coming in here with everything they want to say, and look what they're bringing. So, Look what it's here with, the Ten of Pentacles and Wish Fulfillment. So were you in this long-term connection? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It's back on the table. If you're wishing for communication, it's here. Wishing for an apology, it's here. Wishing for an offer of commitment, recommitment, it's here. This King of Pentacles energy, look at this. Draped in what is a reunion energy for me, the floral laurel wreath. Right here with this big, beautiful pentacle surrounded by abundance. So there are the grapes. Look, the apple. We're seeing it all here in wish fulfillment. It's what you've been waiting for. The crown here. Higher power. Messages from the divine. Crown chakra working things out toward the outcome, which is the sun energy, which these sunflowers lean toward. You're both here for that outcome. What are the practicalities they're working out? For some, it might be literally around some travel, you know? Or again, something that they're needing to kind of finish out, close. What is that contract, commitment? Again, it's here. We saw that in the Two of Pentacles also coming in, and it, that was really clear. And didn't it come with the Nine of Cups? I feel like it did, which was the wish fulfillment of, of making that choice and figuring that out. It's been incredibly strong. That star here, coming here right up in the corner, bringing in the star energy, the renewal, the hope, the clarity, the faded connection, the stars aligning, the hope for this. It's just really incredibly strong. And that Ten of Pentacles, again, whether you were here or you were heading for it, and the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. I feel like we saw it, maybe not. I think we did. In any case, look, there are the Two Cups. And there is a grape in one of them because that's an offer, that Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer energy. And it can be around marriage that will be here for someone, not for everybody, maybe even remarriage for those of you that were in that contractual connection with your person. In any case, look, then there's the Four of Cups here. And that's coming in, which we saw kind of out of nowhere energy, communicating. Look, there's keys in here, bringing in High Priestess energy, making a decision, trusting yourself, both of you. Connected, of course, divine feminine energy, 
abundance, this fish that's gutted here. It's the queen of so the king of swords, I believe, has that near them. It's like an offer. It's the communication. It's also a gutting, sort of like revealing everything. It's like opening it up and get and bringing clarity because. It just brought in the King of Swords because they have been thinking, I feel, for a long time what they want to say. And there's some strategy around it. So whether it's actual location or just figuring out how to say it. And some coming out of shadow ego energy. That's pretty strong. Didn't we see the strength energy too? <laughs> or am I just being shown all this energy? Because that happens. Because your connection's really, really strong. Sometimes it get it was, I feel like, getting really emotional. But they've been repressing some of it. King of Cups energy too. Just So this is like a gutting of that. Coming here and bringing that and sharing. And offering. Healing energy. The Three of Cups in the front. That's Mercury energy and Cancer energy here. Healing energy. Also coming in here with the Abundance. With the Cherries. Which are connected to the Three of Pentacles. Coming together. Communicating. Working it out. Working as a team. Abundance here. Again, for some of you, this might be in person that you're going to kind of see each other and connect again and have this conversation. For some of you, it's just around, around, yeah, you know, again, Eight of Wands energy here, SMS, email, social media, that sort of thing. Maybe even a phone call. I want to bring in some channeled love messages. messages from your person if you ever feel you're sending them then you're sending them i'm so sorry i lied to you seven of swords in reverse knight of swords so they're bringing in that apology which we know connected with the three of swords here which you've been waiting for what did they lie about what you see online is a lie i'm not okay so that's some what is that other contract i love you now until the end of time that's bringing in that infinity James Young song. Did you notice I and sent a message? Connecting here right with the Nine of Swords. Look, and the Knight of Swords, this nocturnal energy. So up at night, we saw the devil energy coming in when we, we were reading first began with judgment, you know? And I thought, well, that's just so early. But, you know, there is a connection there because there is some, well, what's going on in that devil energy? It's connected also to maybe something that they're, Kind of partaking in but there's a nocturnal energy here of perhaps some some wonky messages that came in and got um, deleted or weren't sent or just something kind of weird in that way maybe you were even picking up on it or hearing things from people but it is connected to some communication that they wanted to um, bring forward but not wanting to if you know what i mean like they weren't they were just not really ready but it happened anyway and was like ah! sort of like oh my gosh what did i just do <laughs> you know because yeah look that the eyes closed the nocturnal energy here but again they have a lot to say it's incredibly clear it's been clear sometimes i imagine just packing up and coming to you biggest wish energy wish fulfillment energy it's long-term energy here. Again, whether you're in it or, or we're working toward it, I'm scared to leave the life I'm in. So this is real particular for someone. I don't think it's for everyone, but it is here. And again, it's not just around another contract. That's maybe another romantic contract. It could be. But it could also be around the familiar contracts that are unspoken or other people that are just kind of interfering or, or making decisions for them are kind of like, you know what I mean? And influencing them, that's what I wanted to say. But it can even be location, really long distance, closing of apartments, jobs, whatever. So that is, I think for a lot of you, it's just a matter of what is that? I wanna tell you the truth. Yeah, they do. And I feel like it's coming out of the blue. I wish I could tell you what is really going on in my life. They're working on it, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Swords in reverse, the apology, but that Eight of Wands, more importantly. I know you were giving more and I'm so sorry. Yeah, Six of Pentacles here in reverse and it's coming back in here and that Eight of Pentacles as they work on also that apology. So that's coming here a little bit, whoa, early, which I like. You are my person. I feel so much guilt. It hurts my heart. Love you yesterday. 
Love you still always have always will. Come to me in my dreams. I'll kiss you there. So there, there's a lot here. So I'm not really like taking them all out. But I wanted to just see what was there for you too. What do they want to say Capricorn? If you feel you're sending a message. Then that's you sending the message. Can I get this message? No. But that, that's yours. My world changed when I met you. That nocturnal energy, also that moon energy coming here, Pisces, Gemini, and Cancer. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, that's been really, really strong here, which is a lot of what they're overcoming. I'm pretty sure we saw the strength card, or anyway, I'm seeing it. You deserve so much more. Yes, I know you love me. Is that you answering that? Will you wait for me? Wish fulfillment. Please never give up on us. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Yeah, it's the Five of Cups. Trying to apologize, I feel like, in their head or written for a really long time. So many songs remind me of you. I think we need to bring in some channeled song messages. It can be you're resonating with the songs coming in. It could also be that you're not. Songs you don't know, songs you don't like. Keep your heart open because just like within the reading, there are going to be things coming through that I don't always bring to you that you're going to see or hear and resonate with. There's always a sentiment behind a song or things that I'm not recognizing like names or locations. And if you feel you're sending the song, then you're sending the song. Love song messages. Love messages from your person, Capricorn, through channeled song. Love, only love can bring back your love someday. I will be there. I will be there still loving you. The Scorpions. I'll see you in my dreams. So that's really strong. When all the summers have come to an end, I'll see you in my dreams. We'll meet and we and live and love again. I'll see you in my dreams, Bruce Springsteen. Conversations with you were like a D-R-U-G. <laughs> it wasn't your face so much as it was your words. Because there's something about what happens when we talk. Something about what happens when we talk. Something about what happens when we talk, Lucinda Williams. They really miss talking to you. I thought I knew just who I was and what I do, but I was wrong. One minute you're here, next minute you're gone. One minute you're here, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, there's a lot of regret here. And it's also I feel like somebody's been just doing working a lot and just been around a lot of, it's like a lot of money and stuff going on. I feel that's just been distracting them. I'm still loving you. I'm still loving you. It's again here, a different lyric. I'm still loving you. I need your love. I'm still loving you, still loving you, baby. Still loving you, the scorpion. So there it is again. Is there anything else you want to send through? That's my wild card there. That's yours. That's it. I don't know why the sky is so blue. And I don't know why I'm so in love with you. But if there were no music, then I would not get through. I don't know why... I know these things, but I do. I don't know why Sean Colvin. A strong musical connection between you. There's definitely musicians here, but for some of you, it's just playlists. There's lots. There's a playlist for sure. Your person has a playlist. Because I will wait. I will wait for you. And I will wait, and I will wait for you. I will wait for you, and I will wait for you. I will wait, Mumford and Sons. This is the third time now. If we'd go again, all the way from the start, I would try to change the things that killed our love. Still loving you, Scorpions. Capricorn, it's the third Scorpions. I'm st still loving you 
card to come down and it's really particular to taking some responsibility, things that they would change. For some of you, that's connected to some Hierophant energy uh, and or I want to say that double energy which we saw. So this is the last channeled song message and I'm going to bring in some little itty bitty love messages and we'll close your reading. Maybe I didn't quite love you as often as I could have. And maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I could have. Willie Nelson, always on my mind. This feels really emotional. It got really emotional when your reading began. And then it was sort of like, okay, this is what I need to say to Capricorn. And it's feeling, it's like feeling heavy in that way. You know, like they're getting a chance to say everything they want to say. It's the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands. I reread our messages. Yeah. That page of swords energy is really strong here today. I spy on you as I said that. My guides have a sense of humor. Yeah. That's page of swords energy. That's exactly the energy that I was feeling. Right there is a validation. So holding on to the truth of how they feel and what else. Because they're wanting to come in here and change everything. And it's conversation that you've been waiting for. Apology you've been waiting for a lot of this. I never felt like this. I've never felt like this. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's the Five of Cups again. Here it is again. I stare into your eyes in photos. Yeah. It could be around social media if you haven't blocked each other. It could also just be things on their phone or computer, you know. I don't know, just do I have real pictures, like actual pictures, <laughs> you know? Does anybody anymore? Do you? This is a faded connection. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. I made so many mistakes. Yeah, seven of swords in reverse, five of cups, three of swords in reverse, the apologetic energy. I was stupid. Okay, putting it near the Three of Swords, which in reverse, which we can't see anymore. I think of you all the time. Going with still loving you. Communication in the Three Still Loving You cards. Please forgive me. Three of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups. We were destined to meet. This is a faded connection. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. So timing issues around here, you know. Cycles of life, twists of fate, sometimes things not working out, things always constantly changing, you know, timing issues. So I feel other contracts, what are they? But also this feeling of like, it's just not, we're, we're coming together, we're not. Somebody's ready, somebody's not. Somebody's available, somebody's not. Sort of like like an infinity sign going, dee, 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 needing to stop here. Interesting. I'm also being shown an hourglass, like like the, you know, the sand that goes through time. Now I'm thinking of days of our lives. <laughs> okay, that's silly, but I'm trying to send you a message. That's the Eight of Wands here. Yeah. You may have, I feel like a lot of you have already seen some wonky communication and you may have received this message, but it's coming. I made so many mistakes. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self, and the end of your reading today, Capricorn. It's been my honor to channel for you. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. My heart belongs to you. Yeah. So this isn't surprising at all. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed your reading. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you for that. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you, for your highest good, for the highest good of those around you, for everybody. I look forward to reading for you again, seeing you at another love reading. In the meantime, take care. Bye Capricorn.